Hello YouTube people, today I will show you the biggest watch I have ever bought. <laughs> this watch looks comically large on my wrist. My wrist size is 16.5 centimeters. I bought this watch used from Poland via a website called Vinted. I paid 36 euros with all taxes and shipping included. And I think after doing this review, I will sell this watch without losing any money. So I think I got a good price. So why have I bought such a big watch? I mean, a big or small, I just, I just love watches. I mean, I love all kinds of watches. So this is no exception. It's a big, huge watch, but it's still very interesting watch. I really want to play with this watch, have fun and do this little review. And you know, even though it's comically large on my wrist, if you have big wrists, this watch I think is gonna look impressive on you because it's it's a it's a nice watch. It's a very interesting watch. So without talking too much, <laughs> let's actually take a better look. Big watch, so let's see how big it actually is. Let's measure this watch. The way I measure chronographs, I just measure the bezel. It is 45.1 millimeters. How is the lug to lug? 51.3 millimeters, roughly. That's a very long watch, but bracelet, first links are actually sticking out quite a bit. So let's see how long it is. 58.8 millimeters. That is crazy. But surprisingly, this watch doesn't feel that crazy big on the wrist because considering the diameter, it is not that thick, only 12.2 millimeters. And it has very flat profile and no belly sticking out. It's just completely flat. That's why this watch sits on the wrist very nicely, in fact. And the lug width is 24 millimeters. So on the wrist, surprisingly, I can't really complain about the comfort. All I feel is just the weight of the watch. So let's wait. Sized up for me, this watch weighs 167 grams. And without the bracelet, it weighs 82 grams. solid links, solid end links, and all the edges, all the corners are rounded up so nicely. This thing feels wonderful, really, really good quality bracelet, absolutely wonderful. The only letdown is this clasp, even though the clasp itself doesn't have any sharp edges, but it, it has a little bit of a free play, well, maybe that's because it's not a new watch but that little bit of a free play gives this sound of cheapness a little bit the finishing on the case on all edifice watches is just something else it's just something else surprisingly good very beautiful and i like this bezel it looks so good it looks so good although there is one problem i found there is a dust under the glass which i am about to remove Oh my god, it's tight. It's tight, but it's giving up. Ha. Huh. It's giving up. Let's see what do we have inside. Casio edifice. 10 bars. How does it look like inside? I don't know if that's original battery. I know nothing about this watch to be honest. I don't even know if I gonna remove the moment 
Will I be able to remove the movement from this watch? Let's see. Well, interestingly, how to remove those crowns, I found the instructions on the movement itself. It says push right here. Yes, one crown is out. It says up. So I have to move this up to remove this crown, right? Oh, nice. Yes. Not difficult whatsoever. Let's put it on my dirty phone. Wow. Just look at this thing. Wow, it looks so good. Oh, this is beauty. This is beautiful. Okay, I cleaned it up. Now let's put it back together. Okay. And does it work? Yes. So let's look at the alarm function. Now it's on, now it's off, on, off, clicky and nice. Okay. Now another crown. This, let's see if it works. Yes, this is alarm function, this is date function, and this is time function. Okay, the crown works just fine. Okay, both of them are in. Let's see if the chronograph works. Start it, stop it, reset, yay, nice. How is our final product? Do you see any dust? Well, I don't. Does the beeping work? Yeah. Yeah, beeping works. Nice, we have oursel ourselves a clean watch right now. Alarm function on this watch is a little bit gimmicky. Let me show you how it works. This little crown, all it does, it just turns on and off the alarm. Like that. So let's turn it on. And the way you set the alarm, you pull the crown to the first position and move it away from yourself. If you move it towards yourself, then you change the date. So you have to remember to move the crown away from yourself. Now let's set the alarm on exactly 12 as much as accurately as I can. And let's advance the time. Let's see how far from the 12 it starts beeping. So seven minutes to 12, it starts beeping. And from the reverse, for four minutes. So plus minus five minutes, I would say. Uh, it could be useful, but this little crown is far too easy to push in and accidentally turn off the alarm. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't ever trust the alarm on this watch. Chronograph on this watch is pretty good. It's a 12 hour chronograph. Here are 12 hours, here are split seconds, and here are 60 minutes. And the big, uh, big red hand is chronograph seconds hand. So let's start it up. And interestingly, split seconds run only till seconds hand reaches 30 seconds mark
So on 30 seconds mark, split seconds stop. And you don't need to stop the chronograph to reset it. You can reset it right away. It's very easy to use, very convenient, nice thing to have. Crown action on this watch feels amazing. It is very slow, very slow ratio. It is very easy to set it very accurately. It's a very great crown action. Okay, it's time for conclusions. Where are gonna place this watch on my website thomaswatchreviews.com where I rate watches into different tier lists. Well, this is extra large watch, but it's extra interesting one as well. And if you have big wrists, I believe this watch gonna look really impressive on you, really good. I gonna place this watch into not bad. Right now there is room for improvements, that's why I'm putting this watch into not bad. Not bad it is. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.